All right, what's up? So I figured I would just make this other video showing you guys my Nevada map. I uh, got rid of their silo, placed my own, because the other one to me, I didn't like that. Um, and of course, I did mine on New Farmer. So I always find New Farmer, I don't like having to do all my own stuff, even though I end up doing most of my own stuff anyway. Um, I was running John Deere, but I like to switch it up every now and then, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And I've been doing a lot of cotton on this one. Let's see if I can get to my animal area. Of course, I, I kept all the animals in the same area. I think this one is the only one that I used that was the actual in-game animal pin. Because I didn't like the other pig ones we got, so. Come over here. Got my chicken house. And I really like the egg palette. I think it helps out a lot. And there's also going to be another video that I'm going to do eventually. I found a bug with the uh, this truck and the fifth wheel trailer and the new skid loader, that Massey Ferguson skid loader we have. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, cows. I like that. I like that one more than I do the end game one. Sheep. I got my horse area. This horse area right here was a really, it's a really good one. I like it quite a bit because it has all kinds of options you can do. Using the course though is kind of weird. I rode my horse in there a while back and yeah, it felt kind of weird to do that. I hate that too where it barely puts it on a hill. That hill's small enough. I'm not really too much worried about that. But this map right here is probably my new favorite map. I've been playing on this one a lot more, was Mercury Farms. Um, I love Alien Jim's maps, so his maps are probably my favorite ones out of any other modder. So definitely a big shout out to Alien Jim if he sees this video. Now on this map, there really wasn't a whole bunch of placeable areas, but there is sheds by some of the fields. And I made this road right here, because driving down this road, it's, it was kind of hard to see that road, so I, put, so I made that road right there. And I also made a road over here, because I didn't like driving my combine down the little driveway back, back that way. So I just started... Been, I started doing this build, it's pretty good size, so I started doing it. I'm splitting it with uh, cutting for silage and doing the wheat and stuff for the chickens. So Dad made another road down the road by field three, I think is where the other one is. One thing that I'm going to show you guys that I really hope that Alien Jim gets to work is the irrigation system on field 10. Jog up there and show you guys. Right, one other thing I want to show you guys too. That new fuel truck, I may do a video on how to on how to like load it and stuff but you gotta be careful when you drive it because like even though it's not very tall it's still top heavy you have to like mess with it and stuff like that to get it back to get the flip over sometimes it takes a bit most time I just get my loader I'm not gonna save that there oh I'll just save this turned off anyway And these uh, spots right, like through here, like the water tower, this building right here, and then the fuel station 
over there by my fuel station that I had placed is all storage, which is kind of cool. It holds quite a bit, so usually Alien Jim, when he makes maps, he makes sure the storage is really good. But, oh, but here's the irrigation system. It's pretty awesome. Hopefully he gets it working. Not quite sure how we're going to be able to use it when he does, but I'm pretty sure he'll get it figured out here eventually. But it's pretty nifty. I'm hoping that it... I was ready to mow. Hopefully he gets it going because I think it'd be a pretty nice addition to the map. The irrigation system is going to be a game changer, I think. Usually I run John Deere on most on a lot of my maps, but if I play a map, if I sell everything and it's in like the storage space, like how now I'm at that, usually if it's at like 500 or less, I'll play on that map if I want to run John Deere because John Deere, like as you, as everyone knows, John Deere is like ridiculous. 46 spaces for that one. 35, 42, 45, 49, and it just go, you know, it's it's ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure that cotton DLC, everything, if it's everything, if anything that's got John Deere on it, is probably going to take up a crap ton of space. And I like to run a lot of, I like to run a lot of different equipment, so I like to have a lot of tractors and stuff, so. I like, as you can tell, I like to, I like to use a lot of stuff. So, and with John Deere taking up so much, it's kind of hard to, to run that, to run John Deere. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, if there's anything else that you guys want, you guys want to know about, let me know in the comments down below, and I will do what I can to show you guys how to operate something or learn about the new mods or anything else. All right, have a good one.